After serving more than three decades behind bars tonight, the Menendez brothers may soon be on the verge of release. I believe that they have paid their debt to society. Los Angeles County District Attorney George Gascon announcing today his office will support a resentencing of Eric and Lyle Menendez, convicted of murdering their parents in a Beverly Hills mansion, a case that captured the nation's attention, one of the first to be televised. We are going to recommend to the court that the life without the possibility of parole be removed and that they will be sentenced for murder. They will be eligible for parole immediately. The DA under pressure to re-examine certain evidence of sexual abuse the brothers say they endured at the hands of their father, Jose, then a high-powered music executive. Because I think that often, for cultural reasons, we don't believe victims of sexual assault, whether they're women, whether they're men. Those claims dismissed by prosecutors at the time who argued they killed out of greed to get their inheritance money. And the abuse allegations were largely excluded by the judge when the brothers were tried and convicted in 1996, but viewed in a new light now, gaining fresh attention with a Peacock documentary and recent Netflix series. And from pleas by celebrities and extended family members who've called for their release. This decision is not just a legal matter. It is a recognition of the abuse my cousins endured. All that mounting pressure raised by critics of the DA's decision who question its timing as Gascon faces a tough re-election in less than two weeks and why he's acting now when the brother's pending petition for freedom laying out evidence of the abuse was filed more than a year ago. Mr. District Attorney, when did you make the final decision in this case to recommend resentencing? The final decision was made today. I have been reviewing uh, arguments within my office, both in support and against it, and I came to my final conclusion uh, a few hours ago. Why the timing so close to the election? This has nothing to do with the election. This has to do with the workload of the office. So, Laura, this goes to court tomorrow. Walk us through what happens next. Yes, Lester. The judge in this case still has to sign off on this recommendation for resentencing, so we're likely to see a hearing on that set in the coming weeks. And the DA previewed not all in his office agree with this recommendation and may actually oppose it. All right, Laura Jarrett, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.